Welcome all of you. It is a video lesson of English subject for the 10th class students. This class's explanation is entirely in English language. This video lesson is made as the second part lesson of the story The Snake and the Mirror. Those who couldn't watch the first part means part 1. They can get its link in our description box. You can see it from there. Okay, let us move to our lesson The Snake and the Mirror was written by Vaikum of the Worship. Let us look the summary of previous class. A homeopath doctor is the main character of the story. He and his friends were discussing about snakes. Then the doctor asked them whether a poisonous snake ever called any parts of their body. Everyone became silent and the doctor started to tell his story. The doctor was living in a rented room. He was a poor doctor and not wealthy. He returned to his rented room after a hard meal. When he opened the door, he heard a noise from above. He entered to the room. He could see the ceiling directly and the journey of rats. When he couldn't get sleep, he sat on the chair near the table. On the table, there were some things. Mainly, there was a comb and a mirror. He looked into the mirror and started to take decisions. He took the comb and combed his hair. He took a decision that he would shave daily and grow a thin moustache. He decided to keep his smile on his face. He was a doctor and he was a bachelor too. Then he decided to marry a woman doctor who had plenty of money and a good medical practice. She must be have a fat wife. There is a valid reason behind it. She would not be able to run after him and catch him if he made any mischief. Suddenly something like a rubber tube fell on the floor. It was a snake. It wriggled over the back of the chair and landed on his shoulder. These things we discussed in our previous part of the lesson, part 1. Those who want to watch it, you can get it from our description box. Okay, let's move to discuss the rest of the lesson. Turn to page number 25. We stopped in the 10th paragraph. Look into the 11th paragraph. We have to start from there. Okay, 11th paragraph. I didn't jump. I didn't tremble. I didn't cry out. Homeopathy the doctor became standstill with fear by seeing the snake. He was motionless and he could not move anywhere. So he could not stand up from his chair. He didn't cover with fear too. Even he couldn't open his mouth to cry loudly with fear. He was totally stunned. There was no time to do any such a thing. He did not know what to do. He had no time to think or to do anything out of his fear. He was totally terrified and he continued to sit on the chair. The snake slithered along my shoulder and coiled around my left arm above the elbow. The snake slid along his shoulder and it reached his left arm above his elbow. The snake coiled around above elbow of his left arm. He had not to do anything. The hood was spread out and his head was hardly three or four inches from my face. The hood means an expansion of cobra's neck. The hood means the head of the cobra spread out and it was very close to the homeopath. Not more than three or four inches from his face. He was not able to move anywhere. It would not be correct to say merely that I sat there holding my breath. His mind became empty. The doctor sat there without moving anywhere. He was standstill. Now he could not tell how he sat there without taking breath. I was turned to stone. Doctor felt as if he had turned into a stone, sat there in motionless. But my mind was very active. But his mind was very active. He started to think to escape from this situation. He thought not to provoke the snake. If he did a single move, the snake would struck him. Doctor bothered about his situation. 
so his mind was thinking actively to escape from that venomous snake the door opened into darkness the room was filled with the darkness in the light of the lamp i sat there like a stern image in the flesh doctor was aware about his surroundings we know that he was staying in an outer room its door opened into the open yard there was full of darkness there was no light than the kerosene lamp the doctor sat in that light like a sculpture in the flesh i felt then the great presence of the creator of this world and this universe god was there doctor felt the presence of god he remembered the god he knew that no one there to help him but he believed the god would save him he strengthened his believingness on god he felt the god's presence he thought suppose i said something and he did not like it i tried in my imagination to write in bright letters outside my little hut the words ho oh god the doctor thought that he might say any sinful words or deeds against god that deeds must not be like god that is why the doctor faced this danger the doctor began to whisper the god's name in his little mind there was some pain in my left arm it was as if thick lead rod no a rod made of molten fire was slowly but powerfully crushing my arm the arm was beginning to be drained of all strength what could i do doctor felt pain in his left arm where the snake coiled around he felt something like leaden stick or lead rod binding in his arm and it started to crush his left arm his arm was losing its strength the doctor had no idea about escaping from this situation next page at my slightest movement the snake would strike me the doctor knew that if he made a slightest motion the snake would strike him so he did not do anything like that he controlled himself and sat motionless on the chair death lurked four inches away doctor realized that it was a dangerous and venomous snake if it is dragged him he would be died surely so he would see the death in front of him in the form of a snake the death waited secretly for him four inches away in the form of a snake suppose it is struck what was the medicine i had to take there were no medicines in the room i was but a poor foolish and stupid doctor doctor began to think about his knowledge in his profession and his poverty he had been proud himself as a doctor but at the time he faced this danger he began to think about his real condition he thought about the condition of him if the snake struck him he realized that if the snake struck him he would die surely because he had no idea about the medicines that he had to take it and also there was no medicines in that room more than that he was a poor foolish and stupid doctor i forgot my danger and smiled feebly at myself the doctor lost his thoughts about his condition and smiled like a fool before it before the attack of the snake while he was enjoying his beauty in the mirror he believed that he had an attractive smile but now the snake came to him he smiled like a fool it is seemed as if god appreciated that he felt the presence of god again god blessed him and god opened a way in front of him the snake turned its head it looked into the mirror and saw its reflection snake turned its head to one side fortunately it is so the mirror on the table it looked into it and so its image means its reflection in it i do not claim that it was the first snake that I had ever looked into a mirror but it was certain that the snake was looking into the mirror in doctor's opinion it was not the first snake looking into the mirror
but he believed that it was sure that the snake was looking into the mirror was it admiring its own beauty was it trying to make an important decision about growing mustache or using eye shadow and mascara or or wearing a vermilion spot on his forehead it looked into the mirror and saw its own reflection it seemed it was admiring its own beauty doctor guessed that it was trying to make an important decision about growing a mustache or using mascara or wearing a vermilion spot on his forehead i did not know anything for certain what sex was the snake was it male or female doctor did not get any idea about that snake he couldn't realize the group and the gender of the snake he asked himself whether the snake was male or female he would not get any information from it i will never know for the snake unwound itself from my arm and slowly slithered into my lap the doctor could not find the details of the snake but he realized that the snake started to lose its binding on the doctor's left arm snake started to untie slowly from his left arm and slowly it slithered into his lap from there it crept onto the table and moved towards the mirror from his lap it climbed onto the table and moved to the side of the mirror and reached the nearest of the mirror perhaps it wanted to enjoy its reflection at a closer quarters there might be a reason that the snake wanted to enjoy its beauty by looking very closely into the mirror and it started to enjoy its beauty looking in the mirror i was no mere image cut in granite as soon as the doctor was free he didn't want to sit on the chair like a sculpture made in granite i was suddenly a man of flesh and blood still holding my breath i got up from the chair quickly the doctor recognized that he was a man with blood and flesh not an inanimate object or statue yet he held his breath he stood from the chair without taking breath i quietly went out through the door into the veranda from there i leapt into the yard and ran for all i was worth without making noise he walked silently and somehow he reached in veranda from there he jumped into the yard and ran to his friend's home with the full of his strength phew each of us heaved a sigh of relief all of us it be this doctor finished his story the listener was engaging in his story when the doctor completed the story with his escaping from the snake all of the listeners breathed of relief everyone removed their discomfort about the condition of the doctor for a relief all of them lit beads somebody asked doctor is your wife very fat someone asked to the doctor about his wife one of the friends of him asked the doctor if his wife was a fat lady as he wished no the doctor said god willed otherwise my life companion is a thin ready person with the gift of a sprinter doctor replied in negatively and added that god had willed otherwise his wife was lean and also she was a good runner doctor had dreamed to marry a fat lady but he got a thin person with the ability of running someone else asked doctor when you ran did the snake follow you another friend angered to the doctor about the snake he asked him whether the snake had followed him when he had run from there the doctor replied i ran and ran till i reached a friend's house immediately i smeared oil all over myself and took a bath i changed into fresh clothes the doctor replied that he got up from his chair and ran till he reached his friend's home when he reached his friend's home urgently he spread oil all over his body and took a leisure bath to clear the smell of his body 
he changed his dress at that night he stayed in his friend's home the next morning at about 8:30 i took my friend and one or two others to my room to move my things from there he decided to vacate his room and change his room the next morning he planned to go to his room with his friends and one or two others to take his things from there at about 8:30 they came to his home when they reached the doctor's room they wanted seeing the condition of the room but we found we had a little to carry there was nothing to carry the room was empty some thief had removed most of my things the room had been cleaned out they realized that some thief had burgled the things in his room and the room was clean but not really the thief had left behind one thing as a final insult doctor told that the thief had taken most of his belongings except one thing as insulting him then at last i asked the doctor what was that i asked the other asked the doctor about that one thing that made her an insult to the doctor the doctor said my waist the dirty one the fellow had such a sense of cleanliness the rascal could have taken it and used it after washing it with soap and water the doctor replied that one thing was his waist thief had taken all of his belongings except his dirty waist the doctor thought that the thief might be hygienic doctor believed that that is why he could not take dirty waist but he could have taken it and he could have used it after washing it with soap and water at last one of the friends asked to the doctor did you see the snake the next day doctor at the end of their conversation on one of the guys asked to the doctor whether he had seen the snake the following day the doctor laughed i have never seen it since it was a snake which was taken with its own beauty doctor began to laugh by this question and he replied that he had never seen it again and added that it was a special kinds of snake which was admired its own beauty translated by v abdullah let us discuss the textual questions and answers okay today we are discussing the question answers from today's part okay ninth question how did the doctor react when the snake landed on him it is discussed in the 11th paragraph we know his situation he did not jump tremble or cry out because there was no time to do these acts then how can you write the answer yes when the snake landed on him the doctor did not jump nor did he tremble he did not cry out also he sat there holding his breath like a stunned image in flesh okay move to 10th question why did the doctor sit in the chair like a stunned image in the flesh we know that he was terribly frightened also any slight movement would provoke the snake and it would strike him that is the answer then what would be the answer how can you write yes the doctor did not have the time to react the snake slithered along the shoulder and coiled around his left arm above the elbow the hood was spread out and its head was hardly 3 or 4 inches from his face he was also filled with fear that he just sat there holding his breath we can write the answer like that okay move to 11th question in the story the snake is compared to three objects what are they we know that the snake is compared with some of the things like uh, a rubber tube a thick leaden rod or a rod made uh, of molten fire sometime the other compared the snake with the human beings sometime he calls him he and also 
uh, he tried to find out the gender of the snake we can see this time the other compared the snake with the human being okay we can write the answer like uh, in the story the snake is compared to three objects leather rod rubber tube and human being okay we can write the answer like this okay move to next question why did he feel that he was a stupid doctor in the story the doctor called himself that he was a stupid doctor a foolish doctor then what is the reason we know that he has no medicine in his hand for an emergency case now he was facing a danger as a doctor he had to keep it with him so he thought like this then what is the answer the snake could bite him at any moment though he was a doctor he had no medicine in stock for snake bite so he thought that he was a poor stupid doctor okay we can write another ways we can write he felt that he was a stupid because being a doctor he never thought of keeping some medicines at home in case of an emergency like when he was facing now came up okay this is the answer move to next question i was suddenly a man of flesh and blood what does the doctor mean by this statement we know that when the snake moved towards the mirror he became free that is when life returned to him and he was able to think clearly okay then how can we write the answer when the snake slithered down to the table and moved towards the mirror his life returned to him and he was able to move quickly move to 14th question why did the doctor run to his friend's house did the snake harm the doctor why we know that the snake did not harm the doctor okay then we have to find out the answer for why did the doctor run to his friend's house we know that the doctor want to leave that place as soon as possible and tell his friends these incidences moreover he want to have a bath because the snake had slithered down his body then this is one of the answer then how can we describe it clearly okay we can write the doctor ran to his friend's house to save himself from the snake the snake didn't harm the doctor because it was fascinated by its own beauty okay we can write otherwise the the answer is the doctor wanted to leave that place as soon as possible moreover the snake had slithered down his body so he wanted to have a bath the snake did not harm him in any way okay the last and final question look at it the thief had left behind one thing as a final insult what was the insult we know that the thief did not take one thing what is that yes a dirty waist okay the thief had left behind the doctor's dirty waist really it was an insult to the doctor's sense of cleanliness at the same time the thief was hygienic okay then how can we write the answer then what is the answer yes we can write the thief had left behind his dirty waist the waist was so dirty that even the thief did not feel like taking it the doctor felt it insulting because it appeared as the thief wanted to tell the doctor that he had a better sense of cleanliness than the doctor himself okay we can write the another ways we can write the answer the thief left behind the doctor's dirty waist really it was an insult to the doctor's sense of cleanliness okay we, we can write it anyway okay in today's online class we completed the lesson the snake and the mirror we discussed all the textual question answers okay read the lessons very carefully and make a clear idea about the lesson okay i hope that you can understand the lesson thank you